Hi Brainiacs, welcome to the video store. The place where we like to talk about movies, video games and TV shows with like-minded nerds and nerdettes. Is that a word? In this video, we'll cover a game that you might have missed. This one is unique, might change your life. Before we talk about this eye-opening masterpiece, please take a second to subscribe, hit the notification bell to reduce your gaming bucket list and welcome to the Brainiacs Newcomers. Journey. There are books and movies that we watch and read over and over again. Because each time that we go through them, there's something else to extract from them. I read Le Petit Prince, The Little Prince by Antoine Saint-Exupéry numerous times for its story, but also for its lessons. And I finished Journey four times since that game company in Santa Monica released the game back on PlayStation 3 in 2012. Each time getting a different perspective, on this metaphysical gaming gem. This is a type of gateway game that you can show to a non-gamer to convince them that video games have so much to offer. In Journey, you are playing a hooded character whose language resembles musical notes. From the very first frame of the game, without any exposition, you know that you will need to travel to that mountain in the background. This peak shredded in two, in the middle by some kind of light. You will travel to warm and cold mythical places, and maybe meet a friend along the way. Funny enough, you'll really care for that friend. Everything in this game is minimalistic. No words are really spoken. Your character is almost an abstract shape that resembles a human. What you are seeing is a PS4 version of the game. You can see that there is a certain simplicity to the graphics, but it is more an artistic choice than a limitation. Every frame is drop-dead gorgeous. The ways that the light is used in this game is mind-blowing. From deserted places under a setting sun, or dark obscure caverns kissed by the moonlight. This is a storybook coming to life. Or a fable, even. One of the highlights of the game is the fantastic transcendental soundtrack by Austin Wintory. After playing the game back in the days, I searched for the soundtrack. The end title song, I was born for this, will give you goosebumps. It has a kind of Japanese anime and gladiator we are free vibe. This game is a work of art from the beginning to its emotional ending. It's not an adventure action pack game at all. Expect something slow and contemplative. Something that will stick with you long after you drop the controller. Each time I finish the game, I let the credit roll while listening to the music. I'm thinking about my life, thinking about the journey, 
thinking about the friends I left behind in a game, and then I'm back to my own journey in life. This game was praised since its release, and people are still talking about it after all these years. Here are some scores that the game got around the web. Let's talk. Have you played Journey? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section below. Please let me know if there's another video game or movie or TV shows that you'd like me to explore. Don't miss my companion full walkthrough of the game if you want to see Journey for yourself or if you cannot afford to buy it. This one hour and a half is truly worth your time. Until I see you again at the store, Brainiacs, keep playing and enjoy your journey.